onwards. And we're gonna teleport up to the top of the stairs. I love it. I don't have to run all the way up. Who was that guy though? He was cool too. Is that Sid? Sid? Oh my You know they affected Nethocyte brought down the Leviathan. How can you persist in this folly? <laughs> and you've come here to stop me. I'd fain see you try. I'd fain see you. Consider your bones, old man. You're outmatched. Pirate scum of the skies. What brings you here? Treasure. What else would a pirate want? We'll take the dusk shard. <laughs> you've come all this way for that trinket. I thought you were above this. Hmm? What's that? Ah. Uh. The Princess of Dalmasca come to visit. Oh. Mm. Ooh. She's not entirely without merit. You're a creepy old man! A test of sorts for our princess? Huh. You're a babbling fool. A trial for a Shellier Banargan Dalmasca! You lust for the stone's power, do you not? <sighs> Lend him not your ears, my lady. He means to use you. Ooh, do we get a guest? Oh my gosh! Balthier, your dad has gone over the deep end. <laughs> I could hear the mannerisms though. Like the the similarities to Balthier's speech patterns and his. He's a he's a pretty good looking old guy. Like Bergen. How could you do this? How could you fall this far? He's not a bad looking man, that's for sure. Ah! Oh, 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 oh. I wonder if I could actually, if I could steal from him. Oh, I stole a knot of rust and a high potion. Okay, I was like, what? That's not fair. Also, I do feel like we need to take these out. No, they don't take damage. Am I seeing that correctly? I think I am. They have reflect, which means they can't have anything cast upon them. He has regen on him. How do we freaking... Okay, hang on. Is he... Does the dispel mode not work on him? I only had the one. That's garbage. Why? Uh... Okay, we can at least do damage to him. Uh, any reason why Pinello is still stuck on the dispel mode and is not healing? Always hiding behind your toys. Pity if anything were to happen to them. Yeah, I sure wish I could do something to them. I can't seem to do anything to them. Or if I can, I don't know. Like. Oh, one's gone already? Oh. Well, I can't see their health removed. Oh, I guess I can see. Is, is that damage happening? Okay. We're getting there. The last two that are left keep shooting me with little lasers, and that's annoying. And somehow silence got cast on Sid. Oh, probably because I think I think maybe Balthier's gun does it. What's he doing? It pains me to inform you that your time here is over. Uh, well, the I... curtain falls. He's so dramatic. Uh... Excuse me? <laughs> he was just <laughs> waiting for that. Uh, I, 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 what, what is he? He what? Did he just? 
Is he like doing like a big super special power up? Uh oh. Oh! Oh, we did it! I thought something big bad was gonna happen. Uh. Yeah, I was like, wait a second. Both of yours right here. Can't just go killing both of yours' dad. Vena, you shouldn't have. What? This creature. So this is your Vena. A Shelia Benagin Dalmasca. Just how far will you go for power? Does your lust for Nethersite consume you? Well, no. Am I right? I am, aren't I? A worthy daughter of the Dynast King. You would do well to go to Giruvagan. Who knows? You may receive a new stone for your trouble. Oh, he just gets your so words mean nothing to me. The reins of history back in the hands of man. Ah, oh, that was the achievement. I do make for Giruvagan. Give chase if you dare it. Oh boy. Hate it when he does that. Oh, <laughs> is that a thing? Mayhaps you think me remiss, the Lady Ash of Dalmasca. The Sky Pirate Rethos at your employ. Okay, Mr. Fancy Man. And, I mean, how many Sky Pirates are we going to collect? Also, I did try to loot. <laughs> I, re I realized... The Imperial Senate, oh. powerless to resist House Solidor's oh, no! purge, was dissolved. It was totally dissolved. Oh. Reign Solidor, reign supreme over the Empire. Reign supreme. Though this upheaval shook the Imperial Bastion to its foundation, these developments were, to say the least, welcomed by her military. The authoritarian rule of the judges in tandem with the impending threat of Rosarian invasion, served to foster camaraderie among its ranks. For our part, the resistance mustered strength in the border skies, Ooh. making ready for the task ahead. Border skies, huh? Kitty, you hear that? War to decide the doom of Ivalice would soon be upon us. This is bold. I like, I like how dramatic it is. Sometimes games take themselves so seriously nowadays, which is fine, but I like this too. Sky ships. Are they putting balloons out or are those like tiny, tiny ships? Squads Flame Tongue and Ugernix are away. All ships reporting in. They're breaking to begin ship to ship maneuvers against us. All hands, full ahead flank. We shall make ready to repel their attacks. Counter air. Track them as though they were the enemy. Counter air, to your stations. A dispatch from Naldoa Command, Excellency. The Sky Pirate has left Arcadian airspace. He makes for Balfonheim with the Lady Ash and her party. It is good to know the Lady still lives. But what of our bid for the stone? Wait the stone or without. Our resistance should prove an even match for the Imperial Army. These weeks of training have honed our edge. They're an Imperial Army. I pray it is sharp enough. Who have been training for like... a freaking long time. I mean, it's good to be optimistic, but... Not unrealistic. They choose to supply the resistance, yet raise not a sword in aid. What city could do this? A city of men without countries, pirates of the sea and of the sky. Few are they who would fain lay down their lives for a friend, let alone a king. The Marquis, he is set on war? The time approaches when he must make his position vis-a-vis -vis the Empire clear. 
When he helped you off the Leviathan, he spited the judge's full sore. He cannot sit in idleness and expect to avoid a reckoning. The Marquis shares my distaste for war. Yet, if it comes to it, he will show no quarter. For the time being, we will continue to train the Resistance Army. Enough power on our side, and even Vane may see the appeal of the Treaty Table. Yet Vane holds the Nethersite. What makes you think he would treat when he holds such power? Power enough to sink the Leviathan. That man's thighs All the more are huge. The to support your infiltration of the capital. You said it yourself. The Nethersite is a powerful weapon. I would have you acquire it for me. I have not said I would give you the Midlight Shard. If there is no stone, I would have to look elsewhere for aid. Then you would ally with Rosaria. As I must. Failure is not an option. It's just what Vane wants. He lures the Rosarians and the Resistance to the field, then crushes both with the Nethersite. I think not. Sid has a stone. We grab it and smash it to pieces with the Sword of Kings. Vane will be left holding nary a thing. Oh, he doesn't have it? Time is short. We follow Sid. He's heading towards Giru Vagan. Giru Vagan. It is told of in a song of my people. On the farthest shores of the river of time, shrouded deep in the roiling mist, the holy land sleeps. Guru Vagan, who knows the paths, the way to its doors? Then you seek the Yok de Four. Deep within the jungle of Golmor, there is a corner of the Feywood where a mist storm surges and seethes. Oh. That's it. Let's go. Shut up, then. Vaughn, right. whatever. <laughs> Not coming, Rivers? Forget your precious nether sight already? Sid's words rang hollow to me. I will follow another course. Ah, another lead then, is it? You're well informed. I could well say the same to you, pirate. Aren't you both pirates? I'm actually- Hurry it up, or we'll leave without you. Ah, Vaughn. I've had some of my men check on this Feywood. Let's ask what they found. Okay. Thanks for the help, brothers. I'm not gonna lie, I can't remember where we've seen him before. <laughs> Fly first, ask questions later. Your apprentice is more pirate than you. I don't have an apprentice. <laughs> Princess Ash, I would hear your heart. If Dr. Sid has spoke the truth, you may well be rewarded with more Nethersite in Giruvagan. Tell me. Do you still desire the stone? I desire its power. I want, yet I also fear. I must protect Dalmasca. I can't afford to fear anything. Do not forget Nabodis. That is my only counsel for you. I think her fear is wise. I think she also needs the power of the stone, you know? She's in a Moroccan hard place. Ooh, this is pretty. Whoa. Yeah, uh, that would be nice. They seek only to further their own ends and care little for our lord's wants, if at all. Aren't you- this is like a- an island of sky pirates and they're like... Mad that we want to take care of our own issues? You guys want to take care of your own issues, you're not helping us in the war. Except for that guy is, I guess, your leader is, I don't know. I'm not really sure what he's about. He seems to want to help and isn't good. They honestly kind of chatted like old lovers, I'm not gonna lie. They at least chatted like old friends. Um, but yeah. These people, I see only a boy, and it's by Lord Redos's, Redos's commands. If you have concerns, 
I've got me a nose for ill intent. I'll take the measure of him. Says the little thing. Is that a rat? That is a rat. With a, with a little bird toucan on top. Aye, aye, not bad at all. He measures up quite nicely. This one means no harm to Lord Redis. Yeah, Vaughn's an idiot. Measure? You barely measure up to his waist, and that's counting the parrot. Your concern's duly noted. I, for one, plan to follow Lord Redis' order. Do as you please, but know that no good will come of this. I apologize. Pay her no mind. Now where was I? Ah, yes. Yeah, south of the vast Goldmore jungle in Kerwin lies a place known as the Feywood. I love her hair. The mist there is far denser than most, and even should you make it through that, there's no guarantee you'll make it past what lies beyond. Aye, he speaks of the hidden trial of the Feywood, which must be passed to open the gate to the holy land of Gruvagin. Which all of my companions are probably more suited to doing than Vaughn is. <laughs> but I think we will go ahead and call this one here, hopefully. Hopefully this all works out. I do like how Balthair is getting more and more, like, intertwined in all of this. He's not just, like, you know, the sky pirate scallywag. He, like, he's always been very well-spoken and obviously very educated. But, like, it's even more than that, right? And, like, he, um, uh, is more involved in this than he thought. And also, does Sid have the epicite? And so, v Vane doesn't have it, which means the combined armies could succeed or I don't know I feel like I'm misunderstanding something somewhere I think he has another Nethesite shard something anyway <laughs> we'll figure it out we'll see as we go I don't need to postulate now I'll see it later <laughs> So thank you all for watching. I appreciate it. Really quick, I want to say thank you to my patrons, to all my patrons, but to especially Reese Galito, my sapling tier patron. Thank you so much for your support. And an extra special shout out to Adam, <laughs> my tree tier patron. Thank you so, so much for your support, my friend. I very much appreciate it a lot. And I want to give an extra, extra special shout out to Christopher, my forest tier patron, who's gone above and beyond in his support of me. And I cannot thank you enough. So thank you all again. And I hope to see you in the next one.